What's going on everybody? Chris Chavez here with Android.com. You're watching the Android Overload for Tuesday, February 12th. And these are the top Android news stories from the day. So, oh my god, Android 4.2.2 was released to a multitude of Nexus devices. Uh, the Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 4, Nexus 7, Nexus 10. Uh, we're all updated in the wee hours of uh, late last night and people were literally losing their stuff over this. What's so great about 4.2.2? Nothing too major. Apparently it fixes some Bluetooth streaming problems introduced in Jelly Bean. And when you get a little uh, notification for like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, you can long press to just toggle it. Just a bunch of really minor, very small changes. So I'm not really too sure why everybody was, you know, doing backflips without even bending their knees. <laughs> but perhaps it has something to do with the fact that 4.2.2 will be the last version of Jelly Bean before Google announces uh, the still unconfirmed Key Lime Pie at Google I.O. in May. Now that's something to get excited over. Unfortunately, the Galaxy Nexus uh, on Verizon uh, probably won't see the update at all. Yeah, sorry. So it looks like Google may have prematurely leaked uh, a new feature for Google Now coming soon uh, in a future update. Apparently a Google support page actually showed images and uh, talked about a Google Now widget that can be placed on your home screen to show, you know, whatever card that you know, Google now would be currently displaying if you open it. So this actually could be super useful if you just have, you know, a Google Now widget just smack dab on the front of your home screen, it'd be nice to see those cards updating with all kinds of useful information. Now, as you guys heard just a few seconds ago, uh, Android 4.2.2 just started rolling out on a bunch of Nexus devices. Unfortunately, uh, the Google Now widget was nowhere to be seen. But keep in mind that Google Now slash Google Search is actually independent of firmwares and all that stuff. So this is updated via the Google Play Store. Hopefully Google's not holding this back until uh, Google I.O. in May because it really doesn't strike me as a uh, key lime pie key feature. The Virtu T is a handmade luxury Android phone retailing for a very reasonable $10,000. Now, where us uh, peasants <laughs> probably wouldn't be able to afford one, us techies probably wouldn't want one either way. It has a very small 3.7 inch uh, WVGA display, which is just a fancy way of saying 800 by 480. Puny dual core processor, and it's running on Android ice cream sandwich. Of course, it features, you know, very high end uh, materials such as like a titanium case and a sapphire crystal uh, LCD display or some sort. But really all it is is just another way for someone to make money off of the rich and foolish. In other news, we have absolutely no information, uh, new information to give you on the HTC M7. For the past couple weeks now, it's been kind of funny because there's just been consistently leaked information on it. But perhaps maybe this is just the calm before the storm. Uh, the phone is set to be unveiled at a February 19th press event this coming Tuesday. Tuesday. So it looks like Project J could refer to more than just uh, the Galaxy S4 itself. The folks at Sam Mobile have it on good authority that Project J could refer to not only the Galaxy S4, but a Galaxy S4 Mini and something called a Galaxy Active. Now last time around, the Galaxy S3 was released and uh, we actually saw a Galaxy S3 Mini uh, come out not too long ago. Unfortunately for some who were hoping to get a super high powered, high end smartphone in a smaller package, the Galaxy S3 Mini was uh, kind of a little short on the specs. Now with the Galaxy S4 Mini so close to being announced, there are many that are hoping uh, Samsung, who normally you know blankets the market in a plethora of just uh, various hardware configurations, people are hoping that Samsung will wise up and actually release a smaller high-end smartphone for those that don't have a... Uh, Big old man hands. Now I'm actually kind of curious, would any of you be interested in a smaller, maybe just a four inch high end uh, quad core uh, Galaxy S4 mini? Or does uh, high end really mean uh, just a big old honking seven inch phone? The folks at SwiftKey announced an update to SwiftKey Flow. The update addresses a ton of bug fixes, and while SwiftKey Flow still isn't yet perfected, I feel like it is getting a little bit closer to prime time. So if you haven't yet, make sure you guys give SwiftKey Flow a download. Let me know if you guys are using that or any other keyboard at the moment. Which keyboard do you feel like is the king of all Android keyboards? Let me know in the comments. 
And that just about wraps up the Android overload for Tuesday, February 12th. For links to all these uh, articles that I talked about in this video, make sure you hit the description area. And don't forget to visit the Android overload where we'll have links to a ton of little news bits that weren't featured on the front page of Android. With Android.com, I am Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.